It's a new year, so let's start the new year off right with some speculation as to what the next Pokemon game could possibly be. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Indigo Disc DLC, dropped a lot of teasers as to what this could be. I've compiled a bunch of these teasers and also some speculation online as to what the next Pokemon games could be looking like, and if you're a fan of Generation 5, you might be very excited to hear what I found. Happy New Year everyone, my name is Toxplicity and welcome back to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. In today's video you guys, we're going to be discussing the Indigo Disc and the teasers that lead us back to thinking the Innova region is going to be the next region that a Pokemon game is featured in. You may think I'm absolutely crazy to be already speculating on a new Pokemon game, given the fact the Indigo Disc only dropped a few weeks ago, but the Indigo Disc itself, in fact, the Blueberry Academy within the Indigo Disc DLC, was located in the Anova region, and this has been confirmed from multiple sources. There are special characters inside the Blueberry Academy that have ties back to some of the original gym leaders we met in the Pokemon Black and White and Black 2, White 2 games. So we could potentially be getting a new story in the Anova region, potentially in the past with the Legends game, in the future with a Let's Go Zorora game, or maybe just a remake of the Pokemon Black 2, White 2 games, which I'm very excited about as I am a huge fan of Generation 5. So the Blueberry Academy was confirmed to be a school in the Anova region in the Part 1 DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Our teacher does reference that Miss Briere is from Unova region, and this already leads us into speculation that we could be seeing more of the Unova region in the future. There's also a few ties here and there to Kalos, but I'm thinking the Unova region because one of the most important members of the Elite Four, Lacey, her father is in fact Clay, where if you played through the Generation 5 Pokemon games, Black 2, White 2, and Black and White, Clay was actually a gym leader. He was the ground type gym leader that in fact used an Excadrill, and Excadrill was also on Lacey's team. There's some speculation here and there that Elsa could be Lacey's mother, given the fact that she has similar hair pieces, but she doesn't use any electric type Pokemon and in fact just uses the ground type Pokemon just like her father. I also speculated during my playthrough of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC that Drayton could also be related to Drayden, but the only connection I could really find there was in fact that they both use dragon type Pokemon. There could be some sort of a family resemblance. I couldn't find anything online, but Drayton is an important character to us in the story, so I tried to find a little bit more of a history of him, but Lacey was the only person in the Elite Four that I could find that actually had direct ties back to Generation 5, but her tie is literally family ties. Her father is literally the ground type gym leader, and she uses one of his Pokemon in battle, which is really cool. There are a few locations in the terrarium that have ties back to black and white and black 2, white 2. The coastal biome has a little bit of a reference to the nature preserve in black 2, white 2, which I thought was really cool. I couldn't find any direct pictures online. I didn't find that they fit perfectly, but if you want a direct reference, there is charge stone cave literally in the DLC in one of the terrarium areas where if you're familiar with Generation 5 and Black 2, White 2 and Black and White, you know that Charge Stone Cave is a prominent area in the map and it's also in the terrarium. Is that a big enough hint for you guys to believe me now? I think Charge Stone Cave was a massive reference. Obviously, you can evolve certain Pokemon there, but we also had a run-in with N in the Charge Stone Cave in the original games. And I am a massive N fan, and I would love to see N return in a Pokemon game. Maybe we could see a different side of N. Maybe we could revisit talking to N. Maybe there's another character that could also be returning in a Pokemon game that's based in the past. Maybe a certain AZ, potentially? I love both these characters and I would love for both of them to return. But some of these locations are really cool to see back in the Pokemon Terrarium. Hopefully we get some more references to some of these locations in the future. Some people online on Twitter and Reddit are saying that the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLCs are enough of a return to Generation 5 and we won't be getting another Generation 5 game. But I don't think that's true. They could potentially re release some more gameplay for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but I 
feel like Generation 5 is a big enough region to venture back and potentially explore a new side of the story. Obviously, a Pokemon Legends of Kyurem game would be absolutely awesome. The Legends of Arceus game was one of the best Pokemon games I've ever played, but we could also get a potential Let's Go Zorua game. I would find that really interesting as well with the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games being quite fun. Or we could potentially get a flashback game to maybe the Pokemon War. Maybe that's a massive stretch, but Legends of Kyurem and Let's Go Zora would also be really cool. That's about it for me for right now. Let me know down below what you think. Do you think we're going to be getting a Generation 5 remake game or a futuristic Generation 5 game? I would just love to go back to the Nova region. I feel like there's a lot to still explore. I would even love for them just to grab Pokemon Black and White and Black 2, White 2 and throw them available on the Switch. I feel like that would be really cool as well. But thank you guys for all the love and support in 2023. 2024, I'm aiming for the heights. I'm going to be bringing back a lot of content for Pokemon and also doing a lot more of these speculative videos up until we get the next Pokemon game. Let me know what else you want to see from me Pokemon wise. I'll be happily to oblige and make some more content on Pokemon. It's one of my favorite games, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.